this is probably the strangest theorem in geometry. Take a right triangle. Draw these red and green crescents. The sum of the areas of these crescents is somehow equal to the area of the triangle. What? These crazy curvy regions add up to form a triangle? Let's see how. Take a look at the whole figure. We can describe its total area in two different ways. On one hand, the area is the two small semicircles plus the triangle. We can divide up the same shape in a different way. It's also composed of the green crescent, the red crescent, plus the big blue semicircle. But since they are the same shape, the sums are equal. So now we get an equation to help us solve for the area of the crescents. Now for the final move. Let's say the radius of our green semicircle is A, our red semicircle is B, and the blue semicircle is C. So the side lengths of our right triangle are 2A, 2B, and 2C. And since this is a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. We have that the green side length squared plus red side length squared equals the blue side length squared. And now let's multiply our equation by pi over 8. Notice something interesting here. Pi a squared by 2, that's the area of the green semicircle. Pi b squared by 2, red semicircle. Pi c squared by 2, blue semicircle. By our equation, the green plus red semicircles equals the blue semicircle. And since they're on opposite sides of our equation, we can just cancel them out. And what are we left with? Triangle equals crescents. And that's the loons of Hippocrates, a 2,000 year old discovery that still feels magical today.